but I put a year into it and I couldn't. And I was like, all right, yeah, at that point, that's time to switch. So I switched to Bayo, but then I walk up to him and I'm like, at, I walk up to Matura, which is our other semester. Yeah. And I was like, hey man, you want to play some friendly sequels? So yeah, you're the Luigi I played at Full Bloom. I go, oh, I put Bayo now. And then he left the venue. Oh my goodness. He went to go eat because he's that, like, no. That is, a, that is absolutely amazing. That is the feels bad man. That's the ultimate feels bad man, if you All ask right. me. So we're breaking into this. We've got Zimmy Smiles, aka used to be from Zimmy Smiles, Vincent versus Zenodo, and LOE1. He's getting a little hand warmer out. Oh, this is it. Wow, it. It, for one second, Dave Shaw looked kind of dormant. Yeah, they were just hanging out, and then they realized they, they clicked the start of the game, and it's, it's on. It's on. Zenodo and LOE, of course, being uh, Zenodo's the Diddy, LOE's the Gigi. And then we have Zimmy Smiles and Benson. Zimmy is going to be Christina, Benson, and the Mario. Now, these two um, already have a PGR double team under their belt. Uh, earlier today, they beat Dark Shad, who's teaming with uh, Cells. And those two actually play together quite a bit. Um, so that's a really good win for them. They're both super solid and neutral and alone by themselves, too. So whenever you're in a situation where you're like 1v1, you double partner fighting the other person, like those are those two extremely scary juggernauts to play against. Yeah, definitely. Good thing, good thing they can get that win on them. We'll see what they do with someone that's got a little bit probably better keyboard. Yeah, because these two traveled together to get here. Um, they're part of our Michigan carpool that we brought out with a uh, bar. Ooh, more scratches to be made. Yeah, they were part of the carpool we brought out uh, with some of our tournament funds. And those two, Nam, um, Ori, and then it was supposed to be Ryuga, but he had to cancel last minute, which was a bummer. Yeah, unfortunate, but luckily, still got some great action. Yes, we do. To bring to everyone, so. Ooh, Ooh almost getting the shield break. Be uh, careful with that. So, ooh, nice yep. on, nice right. on Jimmy Smiles. Finally taking, finally taking on a blue team stop. So red team can maintain that momentum if they want to keep this up. Um, but what we saw earlier is just an absolute juggling of, uh, I believe it was Benson between uh, the two of them. They were back for probably 70% from it. Oh, yeah. Just off of one back row. Um, because what we've been seeing on stream so far, we've been seeing a lot of, like, kind of wishy wash teams. Teams that are good, but they aren't as in sync as they need to be. Yeah, they're not And with Sonoto and LOE, like, these two are very different. Uh, they have a lot of teamwork, they have a lot of synergy, and it's definitely shown already. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's uh, pretty upsetting right there for Crow. <laughs> or, uh, Zimmy Smiles to get killed right there from the back row. Throw, it wasn't even the throw itself, it was getting hit by the throw. Yeah, getting hit which by I, you don't see that often. Alright. Oh, hitting him with the uh, rising right back. Oh, there we go. Nice, that's nice right take there. It. That's just a solid edge guard. Yeah. And they still have not been able to take one stop. Which is that's this is essentially the way it used to be with uh, old uh, stuff. He'd hold on to the stock for years. He could never touch the lead. Wouldn't die. Yeah, just will not die. It looks like it looks like Zenodo and LV1 are also uh, just about the same thing. You got Zenodo out here racking up his damage, putting both red players in one stop. Finally, though, being able to take Zenodo down to his last stock, both of them at pretty decently high percent, and the uh, only ones sitting at uh, two stocks. Today. Yeah, it's, the gap is closing. Um, it looks like Benson. Ooh. Oh, there it is. That was that good. Was, that that was, was so smart. Super cool combo right there. Go for that foot school. No, they didn't land right out there. One thing I know is crazy, or that is crazy to me is the fact that uh, we haven't seen a single match from the Luigi yet. Yeah, he, he hasn't has gone off for any matches. He's just they've just been doing some regular, regular edge guards. But they're doing super well for him. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Solid, solid, uh, solid basics. Is, uh, we're always outplaying like your your sneaky tactics, like trying to uh, match somebody. It's a solid basis in everything. I love Benson's neutral. He's just he's just doing quick box trots and then just grabbing him and tossing him forward. Yeah, it looks like LA one just he he tried to edge guard and did something and then just, just couldn't make it back. After Benson hit that fair, I knew he was gonna 
or after Benson hit that fourth throw, I knew he was going to go for the fair because he just wanted. He's, he he knows that if he can take one of their stocks, that he has a lot more potential because Benson is crazy. Oh yeah. Um, watching Benson, his neutral is one of the strangest but best I've ever seen. He just does stuff that. You know, I don't know how it works, but it does. Ooh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Gonna kill him right there. Or throw the scoop, the E is always gonna kill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful though. So the only the thing that was, was super scary there for a blue team was that with Mario with rage like that, it was actually super dangerous for Diddy to get too close. Because if he comboed him just a little bit with a down throw to an up there, his down air would have actually been able to kill off the top. Going to FD, what do you think about this choice? Um, I think, I think it's, honestly, I think it's a bad choice. Personally. I know most of the like FD a lot. Yeah. And the platform, I think, didn't hurt them that much. I, I, I definitely, I'm a, definitely a huge believer in platforms because, like, just the way they were being edge guards, like I said, they weren't, like, they weren't getting Cyclone Gimped or, like, some weird shenanigans going on, like, did he throw a banana and then spiking you or whatever. But, like, they were just getting out edge guards and out playing. So, like, FD is, like, the most true stage of the original play in the edge guards. So, without a platform there, it's just gonna, it's just gonna make the blue team shine a little bit more, I think, than the red team. The red team's gonna have to rely on it more of like the uncomfortable situations. Putting you in a spot where you're like, well, what do I do right here when I'm trapped between two people? Yeah, and what do you think about the swap to Olimar? I 100% am not a fan of uh, Olimar <laughs> doubles at all. Yeah, he has way too many things that require it just being a one-on-one -on -one and not being interrupted for them to be good. Like, the selectiveness of the Pikmin immediately goes down. It's really hard to keep track of which one is which when you're fighting two people at once. I, I'd say Crow did a really good job of minimizing a lot of the drawbacks of Alomar and Alomar doubles. So, like, if I was, like, teaming with him, like, some random guy who was like, yeah, I play Alomar doubles, he'd be like, let's just not do doubles. Yeah. But, like, if Pro was like, hey, I'm trying to do doubles with you, I'm going to play Alomar, I'd be like, all right, you know, we'll try it out. Yeah. So, I, I, I would say it's not the worst possible thing, but I, I'm a bigger fan of him. Even though he doesn't like to play DK, I think it doubles, but he doesn't really play DK anymore. Uh, at least I haven't seen him play DK anymore. Yeah, it's been a little bit. I, I'm a huge fan of the grappler and doubles. The grappler and doubles, if you can bring it down back to the 1v1 in a situation like this, like, Diddy would be dead. Diddy would just get grabbed yeah. and die. And what we're seeing is it looks like they're doing a lot better than they did last game. They're still having trouble killing LOE1. Um, but that's just because he's playing super conservatively. Ooh, and they got him separated right now. Uh, I was going to say, Crow does have a blue Pikmin and Bloom, too. So, he's got to be careful. What is, what, what, is, what is the Bloom Pikmin do? So, when the, once they Bloom, they have increased knockback. So, it takes up, I think it takes about like five seconds or something like that. Once they've been, once they've been pulling it, that they'll Bloom. It turns into leaves and a flower and they're knocked back into the face. So... Whenever you throw someone with a blue Pikmin that's blue, like 120, 130%, like it's a kill throw. And right now we see, uh, we see Kazumi Smiles having a bit of trouble getting a Pikmin out. He was off stage for a good 20 seconds, just kept getting hit. Yeah, and that's another, that's another big drawback from doubles, is, uh, there's just so many hitboxes going out. You just never know how many Pikmin you truly have out. Whether you stuck one of the enemies or stuck both of them. And there's, there's so much damage coming out of that. It's so easy to knock him off stage. And if he's got no pickings left, like, then he just, he just can't do anything. This Diddy and Luigi is beyond insane. Oh, there's a match. Didn't get it though. Really smart right there from Crow to wait for uh, Sydney Smiles to wait so long. Let's see what Crow uh, and Sydney Smiles can do right here. I love just watching the Pikmin float around as he gets killed. Yeah, we're just getting knocked around. Great force smash yep. though from, from uh, Zimmy. He's only got one red Pikmin right now though, so he's, gonna, he's gotta be careful. Because he's gonna have no uh, no offense here in a second if he can't pull another Pikmin. Oh, I'll say yep. so. He can't do anything right now. All he's gonna do is got recover. Yeah. The Solomar. 
Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, finally getting one Pikmin, but pick right there. Yep. He forced smash it, and it would have hit. But the Pikmin wasn't there. Yep, the Pikmin was too slow running behind. <laughs> and that's another game. Yeah. This is really, really unfortunate for uh, Zeus, man. Bro, best of five. <laughs> Wait, they unplug. I just can't. We'll unplug first. Oh my said. god. Game three. You guys got one more chance. I believe in you. You're right. <laughs> Minimum one. Maximum. All right. Sounds like they're in good spirits. Uh, yeah, good to hear. Crow is always a happy guy, man. Even if uh, he's losing, he's happy. Same thing with Vincent. Vincent is, they're both they are both super high energy, so it's something that, I, that they bring as a unit that's really good. They're just delightful to have at tournaments. Yeah. You never have to worry about being tilted. Uh, I, do, I do hope that we see uh, him switch off to someone else. Uh, Double, Double Mario is right. something I've seen them do before too, but is it, yeah, I would. Not. It's illegal. I mean, you could do Suzaku Castle. <laughs> yeah, that's Suzaku Castle, Palutena's, and Wily's. Yeah, gentlemaning in the new rule set in the new rule set is illegal, unfortunately, even into an Omega stage. Have you ever heard the story of the suicide DQ? No. So I'm a, I'm a bit of I'm a bit of a hoodlum, and I went to a tournament. I'm from Kansas. And I went to a tournament there over the summer, and I knew that was in the rule set. So I found out that I was fighting one of my friend's bracket demons, and he was slated to fight him next after the guy beat me. So I go, "Do you want a gentleman to replace?" And he said, "Sure." And then I, after we jumped, into it, I called the TO and took both of us. Monster. I'm a monster. Jeez. Speaking right. of monsters, we got some monsters up in here. Going cool. Oh my god. Already the back row fair. Now, I'm curious about this decision because it, it, in my opinion. Ooh. Oh my god. I mean, I mean, just He's imagine. He's not letting him live. Just imagine. Back again. Yeah, imagine where Vincent got all of his tactics from. Like, and all his ridiculously, like, his high level of, of power came from, came from Vincent's mouth. Like, this man was out here, he just fared this monkey twice, and then, then what, he got back here. Like, Zenodo, his, like, his life force just had to, get, had to get sucked out just a little bit. One thing I'm curious about, though, is in my opinion, uh, my former clip, and I think he beats be pretty better, but he wins pretty good over Mario. Which yeah. is wishy-washy with a lot of people, but just from my experience, I feel like he has a slight advantage over it. Um, what is there? Yeah. yeah. Matchups don't match matter nearly as much in doubles. Uh, and that's that's rare that they take. So they're still up. They're up by kind of stock. But that's super rare that they take uh, one of LOE stocks before they both lose at least. Oh yeah. This choice is looking like right now that it's paying off. Yeah, we did have that. We did have that little break in between when they thought it was a best of three too. So it was a little bit of a reset for red team. And maybe even uh maybe even like a, a chill for a blue team. Yeah, yeah. momentum killer. Yeah, you gotta ice the kicker. You gotta call that timeout real quick. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? I love how Benson was floating back because he's like, oh, he gets his back row. Unfortunate right there that, that uh, they trade, the uh, red team trades with each other and uh, actually kill Zimmy yeah, Smiles. That's not what you want to see. Especially when Zimmy Smiles had, had, had all three of his stocks and Benson lost his first stock. So he managed to lose both of his stocks now before Benson lost his second. You have Diddy at 135%, he's gotta be, he's gotta be super on his toes here with both these Mario's up smash, I'm sure are gonna be just weakening for him. But he's kind of staying back, now he's letting LOE 1 do the approach. Oh, and the, the Flood actually pushing LOE into the uh, banana right there, super smart. And Crow actually, with the call out on the monkey flip, just wasn't in position to actually hit the up smash. Is that back throw going to kill him? Yep, yeah, most definitely is. And now we have uh, LOE1. I'm saying like he's being, uh, almost being ledge guarded by, uh, by yeah, Vincent. But Vincent ended up dying. He needs to take LOE1's stock ASAP. Because um, we've seen how far he can stretch it. What, what I would like to uh, see them do is just don't over don't overextend for LOE1 and then just start putting the hurt on Zenodo. And try to force Zenodo to have to take that stock from him. 
because it's always a good situation because then if you make them take the stock, then you only have to kill Eloi one one more time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Since it's a lot they to... are struggling to kill him as it is. And it's a lot easier to bully a floaty uh, than it is to bully. Yeah. Oh, Benson right there with the down smash at the ledge. Now, I did see Vincent play uh, Zenodo at uh, Midwest Mayhem and had some really awkward stuff. Ooh. And there it is! They this is, stop this is they need to get best case scenario right, right here. All they have to do is, is not... They're, they're super separated right now. They've got to get back together. Oh, oh no. Hit, hit the All wrong right. plumber. This is still doable. Uh, but now, really now we're going to have uh, Zenodo doing all the approaching. Uh, yeah. They do not want to use Eloise for Catching the normal get-up right there. Like I said, though. I, I think had they started Double Mario, no, their Double Mario was with I think had they started that, that could have been a very different set. Yeah, it could have worked around. It was, it was a tough match and tough set to fight against. But Vincent did play, uh, did play Zenodo at Midwest Mayhem 10 or 11, and uh, actually was able to beat Zenodo.